Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we will discuss changing the hover state to tap trigger to a new page in Adobe XD. If you are working from nothing to speed up the mockup process, I recommend creating a wireframe first. This will ensure the interface function as expected. Then drag your artwork into the wireframe. Here are some videos to help you get started. Users of Photoshop may import files into Adobe XD. For help, watch this video too. You create a movie mockup database in Photoshop. You may have created a hover state over the movie post within the Photoshop file so that a summary of the information appears. If you click on the More Info button, it will now be taken to the movie details. You can see, depending on how the movie mockup was created, we may need to change a few things in Adobe XD. Movie posters and movie information were created on separate layers. The movie poster and its movie information should be merged into one component to make this work better. XD components consist of reusable elements such as text, images, shapes, and lines. Rather than reusing the components, we're using the default on hover states. I will attempt to select only the movie content that I need to make into components for this one movie. Using command on a Mac or control on a PC, I will select the 2067 movie poster and the 2067 movie details. On a Mac, press command K. On a PC, press control K. Or on the right hand side, click component plus. Both layers will be automatically merged into one component. A diamond shaped icon will now be shown. If I double click on the name, I will rename this component to 2067 or whatever movie you are working on. Click once on the diamond icon to open and see the insides of the component. You will notice I have two identical icons. These are your masks, a circle in a box. I will click on the icon to open the mask and double click on the name to rename them. I will rename both masks. Default and hover states need to be created for this to work correctly. Therefore, I will select the 2067 component. Click on plus to create a default state on the right hand side of the property inspector and choose hover state. The default state is the movie poster, so let's hide the movie info in the layers panel by clicking on the hide icon, the no show. Choose hover state. The semi should appear on hover now. Select show to display the movie information. Click on the eye icon to view. Turn off the movie poster. Depending on how the file is built, you may have to turn a few layers on or off. Remember that not everyone builds their files the same way. Let's see how it works. Choose the movie's components from the layers and components list. Switch to the default and hover screens in the property inspector. The default state is the movie poster, while the hover state contains information about the movie. I hope that worked for you. Now what if you click on the movie info and it takes to a single page of movie information? Nothing. But since we have the artboard for this information, let's do it anyways. This needs to go to the prototype stage. If it's grayed out, click on the interaction plus to activate it. Tap is the trigger. Select your destination or drag it there. I would also do this for the more info button. The more info shape will be selected and the interaction plus will be clicked on to create this tap trigger. Choose the artboard's destination. For both triggers, the transition will be a transition. You could play with an animation and ease in and out, but I'm going to leave it as is with its default settings. Let's test this out. As I select the movie components in the layers panel, I want to make sure I'm started on the default state because if I don't, it won't display correctly. There you go. Hovering over the movie poster will give you a movie summary and clicking on the more info button or text takes you to that page. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like it and subscribe to get more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.